Okay, everybody, welcome to a nice conversation here on Zoom. We've got John Holland and Joe Scheel, and I am so thrilled you're both coming to the Chicago area for a live event that you two have been taking the show on the road, from what I understand. This is, right. not, <laughs> this is not your first rodeo doing this. So let's talk about what people in the audience on August 17th will be able to experience at Bridging Two Realms. Well... Joe, do you mind if I go? I'll go first. Go I, I've worked with Joe and we work well together, but a lot of people, and Joe will explain this to you, have never seen a spirit artist where he is also a brilliant medium and an artist, um, and he will draw the spirit that's coming through um, sometimes exactly how they looked, um, you know, when before they passed, uh, you know, in a good way, or uh, show themselves younger and without seeing any photographs. Um, and I go and then I will do my thing, you know, mediumship messages, and then Joe will get to his easel um, and start drawing. And sometimes we work in unison, we tag team. It's like picking up the phone, the same for the same spirit, he'll draw. And then I'll also do something. He might get someone's dad in that family. I might get the mother. So it's, it's fantastic to watch, but a lot of people never had the privilege, Joe, I should say, of seeing a spirit artist. Yeah. And Joe, how long has this been part of your toolbox well i've been doing this for probably 30 years so it's it's close to it by this point if, if not um i started out i didn't know really what was going on but um i started drawing pictures of people on the other side when i was little mm -hmm. and then later on i thought it was more of a spiritual thing so i went into the seminary and thought all that but the more the more i um kind of experienced it and was shocked by what was happening I decided that I better take it seriously and learn, and learn a little bit more about everything involved with it. So I started to um, meet mediums, which I didn't even know what that was before all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I started to meet that, I met I met with a lot of you know people, and there's a lot of phony baloney stuff out there and things like that. But then I started to meet meet the real deal people that are really serious about it and and give of themselves and really serve the, serve the spirit world for the sake of those here who are suffering. So um, that became much more of the aim of my life. And I put an awful lot of work and effort over the time and many, many demonstrations with, with uh, phenomenal people. Uh, John and I hit it off so well as, you know, it, it's kind of like it's uh yeah, it's about sometimes it's about some sad things, but we, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of uh, uplifting times, too, and a lot of healing times to go on with these with these services that we do these these demonstrations and uh, people have not seen it before. Then they they see the extra evidence of the fact that the person's face comes through the essence of that person is there right in front of them, and there's no denying it. And normally, I, I, honestly, it shocks me every time. Almost, it's like I I did this again. It's like how how can this happen? We don't know everything about this stuff, but we're we're, we're learning. We're at the tip of the iceberg. We're, we're constantly constantly working at it. I, John is diligent and and writing about it and doing things, and so am I. But I've always I've always been artistic, if you will, but when it came together with my my spiritual self and and doing this uh, uh, I, you know it was about finding people that were positive about it and serious about it and uh and John and I kind of found each other through mutual friends and things like that and so we decided you know every when we can because we're both very busy um we'll get together and do some things in, in great places and the Chicago area is just awesome so I just I gotta I tell you, it's just awesome, and I have uh, my my son has a sailboat up there, and I have, so so I I know the people are are genuine, and I know they I know that there's a, probably a lot of people who have lost loved ones, but n may have never gotten to see this kind of thing before. Um, and do and people I, get to take their paintings with? Absolutely, yeah. yes, absolutely. That's the best they, part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, in a big audience, not everybody will get one, but what everybody gets is they get the sense and the presence of that spirit in the room. Everybody feels it, and that, you can't deny it. You know, it's and that's when 
the evidence of this becomes becomes a, a more of a convincer of people that there's more to life. There is a continuity of life. There is a, a life beyond this one. This hope, in other words, there's this connection, this this continuation of love, and so that's what I really find is uh, the most fascinating, most wonderful thing about it. So I I I'm still to this day, even after all these years, I still go into a reading or go into these kinds of demonstrations with a great deal of uh, excitement because it's going to be, this is going to be cool. This is going to be great, you know, so. Because you never know what's going to happen. And Joe and I grew up in the same area as kids too. Oh, yeah. So we've a lot of history from, you know, there's a lot of history there. A lot of, there's a lot of stuff from our past that are similar in the same area. But I had a spirit drawing done once by Coral Polge, who was one of the most famous uh, me, um, spirit artist in the UK. UK? Oh, wow. Yeah. Huge. I, before she passed, I was lucky enough to sit with her. And I only know a few. There's not a lot of them, uh, you know, really good ones. And Joe doesn't just draw the picture. He's given evidence. I feel like I have somebody's mother. So imagine a, me, a medium uh, like myself, but yet drawing at the same time as we're linking and talking at the same time. I don't know how he does it, but it's it's amazing to watch. And you can't always, sometimes when you work with someone, Jen, you know this, you have to resonate on some type of vibrational level that you're in sync with someone. It just happens, it just works with each other, uh, yes. with the two of us. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm yeah. excited to, to see it too. And, and also I have a question, a technical question sure. about the spirit and how they present. Now, I know from all the interviews I've done with many, many mediums and people who've had near death sure. experiences, that a spirit can choose to be at their favorite time of life, right? So so say my dad died at 56, but his favorite time of life was when he was 35. Maybe he would come through looking 35. Is that is that sort of, or is it how the person in the audience remembers them fondly? Them, yeah. yeah, which which is it? Is it a combination of both? Well, I think it's I think it's a combination of a lot of things because uh, when I first started doing these spirit drawings, I was drawing so many. I've drawn as many as 25 family members on the other side on my multiple drawings many, many times, you know, wow. and sometimes we've seen dad at seven years old and then we saw dad at, you know, 23 and then we saw dad at 46 and then we saw dad at 83, all in the same picture. So it's like what we're doing is we're picking up on a person's life, but they're telling us about their life and they're almost giving this, giving us the images within our minds. Nice. So within us, we're not only seeing things, we're feeling things, smelling things, tasting things. We're experiencing their life. And in in even in a physical level, like we, I tell the audience to watch me as I'm working because I may physically animate like that person. I may start to oh. talk, walk like them. Yeah. And um, it's because we're turning ourselves over to them for the, their presence. Not with, It's not possession. It's not some scary, you know, gold bump in the night type of thing. It's it's more about blending with them and allowing them to use us as an instrument of peace. And as we go through that, it just becomes really kind of cool. And, and, and you know, John says, how, how do you how do you speak about them and draw at the same time? It's, be, it's because... I feel like the, they're part of me. It's what it's what I'm supposed to do, you know. And it's it's a very it's actually a very um, I want to say a spiritual experience that we're going through on that stage. So um, when people see that, the, the, it's not magic. It's not you know it's not trickery. It's a, uh, it, that I, I I wouldn't be involved if it was. Right. It's just my own, and it's. It, it it is very entertaining, but it's not the reason we do it. Right. You know what I'm so and and just when John and I get together, it's just it's kind of a laugh riot because we do come from the same area, we come from the same sense of humor too. So it's like it's a little, <laughs> a Jen knows my sense of humor. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Which scared me at times. I got this. <laughs> well, you know what I love too, Jen. This happens sometimes when a spirit will be um, talking to Joe and he he'll draw something and they'll say, um, "You made my hair too big." Or my ears are too big. And he's like, oh God, okay, because they're instructing him, right? And he sure. sees them. And if yeah. you watch, if you go to, if you have Netflix, watch Surviving Death, What? Uh -huh. okay? Episode four, you'll see Joe working, right? Mm -hmm. And the woman that he touches uh, in this. So it's on Netflix to see him working firsthand 
uh, episode four, you'll see Joe Schill, and it's the part where the Forever Family Foundation uh, yeah. comes into the introduction of it. So I, I just get so excited working with him. I've, I've done stuff in Chicago with you before, Jen, but never with someone. And since no, Joe's know. kid, his son lives there, and I said, if they've never seen this, it will, you know, August 17th, you know, at that new theater, I'm yeah. just excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. So in Oak Park, Illinois, for those who are watching this, August 17th of 2024, it's a Saturday night. Get in person. Best, in person, <laughs> that's right. Get your bestie, get your family, get your plus one, uh, and uh, get your neighbor and just come and join because it will be a very unique, like you said, it's a one of a kind and the vibration and the frequency of your chemistry, right? It is sure. about joy. I, I, I talk about this a lot in the Spiritual Social Club, but one of the women I interviewed was hit by a taxi. Talk about a sense of humor. Hit yeah. by a taxi in downtown Chicago. Flew out of her shoes, landed on the taxi. The guy went over her, backed up behind her. Not a scratch. Caught by angels. And as she was waiting to get her x-rays, she heard in the waiting room, it's all bullshit except happiness and joy. And it was spirit. There was no nurse talking to her. She thought it was some... And, it, that's, and she was like, that's not even my go-to swear word. You know, this was... Obviously, a channeled message telling it's, you know, hey, it's all BS except happiness and joy. And so therefore, she is all about laughing. And 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 why wouldn't the spirit come through and be like, hey, you made my nose a little too big. Hey, people, people yeah, whether they're here <laughs> or there. But you said Joe and I to the chemistry. Let's yeah. not forget it's a three way communication from spirit, right through spirit to spirit, the audience. It's a three way communication. We need that audience in the excitement. We, we, serve, we serve that spirit world for the sake of the sake of those in the audience. That's what we do. I mean, we've just become that channel. So it's it's um it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And yet it's you know, there's there's tears, but there's a lot of emotions that go go on with this kind of thing. But it's by the same token, uh you feel alive. Yes. You know, you come alive. So that's really what's really wonderful about it. And yeah. that's the point. Remember, yeah. they are with us like it's in their, their the next room. They are listening and, and watching and witnessing and, and wanting to just completely cohabitate as, as much as they can. But we can't hear the frequency. And thankfully, you both can hear and see and feel what's happening. So we will all benefit from your collaboration together on August 17th. I'm so grateful that this came together. There's no accidents. And whoever is supposed to be there will be, we'll be in there. the house. So yeah. And thank you for putting this together, Jen. You're bringing a lot of excitement yeah, to that area of Chicago. I'm excited too. It's the least I can do. We're so excited to have you. So until August 17th, we will guide everybody to either my website or John's or Joe's. You can also just Google Bridging Two Realms, Oak Park, Illinois. I just did that before we hit record and it okay. right up. So everybody can find it also on our websites uh, collectively. But And it will sell out. I, I, oh. I'm doing one in Salem, Mass with Joe. Just, yeah. there's, there's just a few tickets left because the attraction of it um, and Joe and I's reputation. So think early, everyone. Don't think in August, so I'll get a ticket. Yeah. No, okay. Don't Sooner than it. late is best. No, yes. The early bird gets the worm and the spirit art. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Jen. Sure <laughs> thanks, Thank Jennifer. you, gentlemen. <laughs>